Good morning. I am Adam Harris, and this is The Day Ahead. Go ahead and click subscribe below to receive daily market analysis videos and important alerts. On the Economic Canada for today, I'll be cautious around the ECB's news at 12.45 and 1.30 p.m., even though no changes are expected this month. I'm also waiting on the commodities in my watches to begin to move again, with the metals losing their momentum briefly. The global indices and equities continue to show the bulls having it out with the bears, and the daily moves today could go a long way to clearing that up. You can jump to any chapter by clicking on the time link in the description below. So good morning and uh, yeah looking at the currencies first US dollar index has indeed so far produced a swing high on the daily heading down towards the moving averages. I'm still for the moment <clears throat> although this is technically an uptrend we've got a higher low here we've got a higher high here uh, for the moment just going to be cautious around this period also today obviously we've got um, ECB interest rates uh, around about midday heading on to 1130 for monetary policy announcements so I'm anticipating increased volatility there and of course if there's a big move on the euro it's likely to uh, impact the US dollar index so just exercising a little bit of caution there we may of course continue to head a little bit higher we are sitting between key levels um, and so we'll just exercise some caution on that now cable sterling continuing to increase in terms of uh, strength on the back of just general optimism this looking pretty good you can just see here the momentum indicators producing fresh highs MACD continuing to rise price section looking pretty good we've got a nice large candle so usually following a large candle we'll start to get smaller candles and a potential retracement so for the for the moment looking good I'm quite happy to see that we're heading towards 1.31 uh, so it's already expecting a bit of a retracement and we'll uh, then also be looking for a second uh, entry into this to continue to climb higher but that having turned out to be a nicely profitable trade we've got uh, Euro Kiwi now Euro Kiwi just stalling here against this level of support so just exercising a little bit of caution there but that should continue to head a little bit lower just uh, let's see how that Euro news goes today uh, Aussie Swissy uh, now this I was looking for yesterday a bullish candle to form on this level of support at a break above the higher that to be a confirmation of that support it's turned into a rejection candle uh, ultimately and broken to the downside on overnight news of the Aussie dollar and uh, so what's interesting about this is this is now shifted into a weekly kind of looking at this on a weekly basis look at see it break through that level now Aussie dollar itself uh, this one uh, Australian dollar just mentioning this one ongoing seeing that bullish divergence and although we have got this turned down am expecting over the coming uh, next month or two to see Australian dollar change direction and that's it in currencies for today not a lot going on in uh, commodities really still just stalking and waiting on gold and silver to do a proper retracement into this area of the moving averages so if I do get a bullish weekly candle this might ultimately be uh, a swing low but I'm going to wait unfortunately I'm just going to have to wait until the end of the week to see how that uh, closes out I still expect them to retrace a lot deeper there it's just a bit premature silver looking better out of the two in terms of that setup we'll keep an eye on it palladium has now produced a bullish candle in the buy zone it's similar to gold and silver I'd prefer for it to pull back but it is however in the point of equilibrium with a bullish candle here I think a break of the high of uh, yesterday's candle the day before sorry I beg your pardon Tuesday's candle would constitute a slightly safer entry and uh, my stop loss below the low of that uh, in terms of this resuming its trend again I'm going to keep an eye on that level of resistance at uh, 1400 or 1360 I beg your pardon 1360 um, but I'd, even better would have been to see it come back to 10 this level of support it may do that down the line on a weekly retracement but certainly the daily is now looking keen to continue and head on upwards and then the only thing to add with regards to this is crude oil is not actually strengthened uh, it was looking uh, potentially as though it was going to strengthen yesterday in fact it's actually weakened this is a weekly time frame just showing this reaction against this resistance level it's now producing a bearish candle within a downtrend uh, within that sell zone and so if this does finish bearishly and we get a break of the low of this I'll be looking for shorting positions next week so really just stalking these waiting for them to decide what it is that they want to do in terms of the longer term trend because the dailies really aren't doing very much so with the global indices that I've been stalking this week the US indices have pulled back and uh, S&P 500 tech 100 all producing small green candles clearly and crisply off levels of support and resistance so today I'm looking for a break of the high of those candles to see price head on higher if price fails to do that and ultimately closes lower that will indicate there just aren't enough bulls in the market to push it uh, any higher now then moving across to the UK 100 as well as Germany both of these have and are continuing to produce 
bearish weekly candles against resistance in the sell zone, those between the 10 and 20 moving averages. If they finish uh, bearishly by Friday, then next week I'll be looking for breaks below the low of that to continue uh, lower. On the other hand, if they break the high before they break the low, then of course that changes. And so it really is swinging between the US markets looking a bit more bullish as they have for the last, uh, most of the last year, more bullish than the rest. Um, and then the only other one really being Hong Kong, just noting that one is still managing to look relatively bullish. So we still have strong bullish tones in the market, but just looking at those weekly candles, if these uh, continue to close bearishly, uh, I'll look for breaks below the low next week, since we're only uh, a day or two away from that. And then uh, on the US ones, looking for a break above the highs for entries on the daily, for uh, potentially even on the four hourly, looking for swing entries long. And then lastly for today, looking at the selected equities and focus, just recapping on what I'm looking to see by close of uh, markets on Friday, looking to see Apple ideally finish with a little bit of green in it as a strong rejection candle and holding above support would be a good indication of what this market is setting up to do in the longer term, although it's doing very little at the moment. Um, down there, I'm expecting that to potentially set up to go long. Then looking at Netflix, <clears throat> I'm waiting on this bullish candle. It has not yet arrived, so I'm looking for a swing low in the buy zone here, looking at, to see that head a lot higher. Now, what I do find interesting is that these are usually my downtrending equities and I'm finding most of them, uh, all of these except with the exception of BP as producing, continuing, continuing to look incredibly bullish. So then monthly candles and weekly candles all very, very strong heading up towards the close. So although they are usually uh, historically bearish, they have actually been quite strong and bullish, very clear about continuing onwards. Um, and that's all of them really except uh, BP as I was saying uh, that yesterday that it sits on a level of support and it's almost forming a bit of a rejection candle here almost failing to set up there it doesn't mean it hasn't broken the low uh, it's still an inside candle and so a break above the high that could be a breakout on a lower time frame as it continues to trend on upwards so there we go ladies and gents that's it for today uh, looking to see how the bears and the bulls decide what they want to do in terms of the medium and longer term picture and uh, really wanted to get clarity on that yesterday it looks like we're just going to have to wait another day uh, to see if those uptrends are going to continue on the daily timeframes. On that note, ladies and gents, have a great day. If it's trending, I'll be there. Just a reminder to hit the subscribe button. If you want to stay abreast of what's happening in the market, I'll be producing and bringing you the latest in the markets every morning in a freshly produced video.